this should not happen. It should have a bonnet stop here, and it doesn't. A bonnet stop here, resting place for the lock in the a, in a bottom part, and it does not have it. And it is one of the vital things to pass technical inspection. So I had to order a bonnet stop. So this is the top part and the bottom part I have on a uh, spare alfeta. So two things will combine into one and this should have a working bonnet stop. Of the car it does not open until I release the bonnet stop so there is a problem with the seat belts actually uh, the first problem is that there is no buckle for the passenger and I thought that it's just a problem of this buckle of the lock but <clears throat> unfortunately I noticed that uh, the front seat seat belts and uh, these things they differ from the ones in the back and actually these are not original so I could not find this uh, lock and uh, the best thing I can do is just to replace the front seat belts altogether I have spare ones from another Alifeta and I will have to swap out the belts and the buckles, I'm not sure how they are called, the thing that you put in the seat belt thing. Yeah. seat belts were quite dirty therefore I had to spend some time cleaning them up with wet cleaning and uh, so I had to stretch them out and now they are dry already and I can install them in the Alfetta.
So there you go. An original seat belt with the original buckle goes into an original lock. Works just like it should. Holds, unlocks, no problem. Same on the other side. Should be okay. Didn't try it. Works as it should. That's it. Now onto the choke cable. This is what happens with my choke handle. So for now I have a spare assembly of these handles and this one works pretty nice. I have already lubed it up so I might just add a little more lubricant to it and then just install it. So I'm wrapping up another day of work on this Alfetta. The bonnet stop is already in place. I've replaced the seat belts. They are now all working just like they should. They are original. I've uh, replaced the choke cable. Now the choke is working like it should. And I know that I've mentioned last time that this car is missing VIN uh, plaque. Uh, it has the VIN stamped into the firewall so that like it's not missing a VIN code but it's missing this uh, plate here, which has additional information about the weight of the vehicle, about the, what the engine is equipped and some internal codes. 
and etc. So it's missing it. I don't know if I need it. I'll try to pass it like that because I found it where I can buy it. It's like 200 euros. So 200 euros is not the amount of money I will I want to spend on a plaque for the engine bay unless it's completely necessary. For now, enough. Thank you to everyone who watched this video and uh, see you next time. Bye.